All right, it's here. And this is some highway pegs that I purchased from Amazon. Spent about 50 something bucks for it. So let's open this thing together and see what we get, you know? So this is the piece that, that goes around the bar. The quality looks pretty good. It's vivid, it's vivid black to match my bike. And we have the grip, the, the, I mean the foot piece. It looks awesome. I love the details here. Hopefully it holds up over time. And then of course you're gonna mimic that same thing on both sides. So it comes with no instructions whatsoever. So it shouldn't be hard at all. Anytime you're doing stuff, just clean up your area. That way you don't get confused. All right, so it came with these tools. Came with two of these. Bam. You know what's funny? So as I'm putting it together, right, I, I just finished telling my wife, I said, you know what? I just want to buy American-made parts. I don't want to put nothing cheap on my, on my Harley, period. I just want to go and just get the original parts. And I ended up buying this, this, um, these pegs, and I started the process. Like I said, no instructions came in it. It's not that hard, not that difficult. But then I went online just to make sure I'm doing it the right way, and a video pops up, and the video is talking about a guy who had it, and the damn thing broke. So you know what I did? I packed the damn thing right back up, and I'm heading up to Harley to go and spend my damn money and buy a highway peg specifically from the company because sometimes let me tell you we try to go cheap and we, we it costs us so much more at the end of the day it ain't worth it so harley here i come you ready let's go if the hurt was the hottest or the coldest yes well what would you choose um i choose coldest because we can fix the coldness you choose coldness yes but yeah. if it was really hot i can't really fix that well we'll die if if the earth is too cold we'll die if the earth is too hot we'll die so I just like I like a natural, you know, natural heat and natural cold. But if it's if it's too far below zero, we'll freeze to death. If it's too uh, way far above a hundred plus degrees, we will melt and literally suffocate. We won't be able to breathe. Last time I was in 114 degrees. Yeah, we could we could we could live in 114 degrees after a while. But but when you start going up into like higher than that, oh man, forget about it. 200. Oh no, two no 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 100 plus, we'll die. We won't be able to survive. Human beings adapt pretty well, but you know, after a while, we'll be gone. Boop, 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 done. The earth will be happy too. But like, yes, we got rid of all these people with their motorcycles and cars and houses and stuff. <laughs> all right, so we are heading up to where are we going, Delani? Harley's. Yep, we're going up to Harley Davidson. Cause we, like I told y'all, man. But before we go to Harley, I'm dropping off that. I'm going right back to UPS and I'm returning that thing right back. I, I'm not playing around, man. I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm just gonna just make sure that I'm getting all the good quality stuff made right here in America and um, just support my brand the way I know I need to. All right, let's go. All right, so we had Falcon Fury Harley. I'm hoping that they have the piece that we need. I'm gonna be happy because um, we need it. At least I need it. Oh man, that, that light is bright. Woo, that light bright. Love that floorboard. What do you guys think about the big tire kit? Because I'm definitely getting this on my bike. I love the big tire. Fat tire kit. Yep. I got these right here too. Come on, you like these? Which one is it? You have a favorite one? Uh, this one. This one, yeah, I love this one. What do you like about this one? The color? Yeah, it's the blue and the white. Huh? The blue and the white. Yeah, the color looks good. What about the back? <laughs> that looks great too. Yeah, I think the back looks good. That looks awesome. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they stain. Yeah, this looks good. Alright, I'm gonna find a bike that has it. Bike. Oh, this blue bike here has it? Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. This looks good in black, too. All right. This is what it looks like, guys. Let me give you guys some light. So that's how that's how it mounts. Right here. You see what I'm saying? The foot position is way better. 
And look at this. You don't have to worry about cocking your foot all the way up to the top. You ride in, your foot goes right there, boom, back into place again. Come on. Let's go. Hold on a second. This is why this is this is why I bring my daughter with me, man. I was about to get away. I just spent over three hundred dollars, right? And I was not gonna get a free. So she was like, Daddy, look what it says. Free gift. Over three hundred dollars worth. Look at that. Let's zoom, let's zoom into that. It says right there, get an exclusive HD fleece. Delana, you can have the fleece. You want the fleece? Thank you. Now I gotta spend another 300 to get another fleece. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home. I had a great time. My daughter is enjoying her Harley Davidson fleece blanket. So here it is. I got these two parts. This was literally a. Uh, taking off some other bikes. And these are about 160 bucks if I was to buy these brand new. So I got this for half the price at Harley. Sometimes you get deals. That's what happened to me when I did the, Titan stop, Titan stop. Titan crazy. Sometimes that's what happened when I had the biker's backrest as well. And of course the brand that I purchased here is from, oh, Ciro or Ciro, whatever way you pronounce it. C-I-R-O frame mounted adjustable highway peg mounts. All right, so this is about $265, but it's worth it. Why? Because it's better than investing in something cheap that you know can possibly break on you while you're on the highway. So we're gonna install this together today. I'm excited about it. All right, so we got a bunch of screws. I'm gonna keep them all together. Not gonna get them confused, those stay there. And then we have these connected pieces right here. That's one. Like I said earlier, clean up the mess. Like put the things the way that you know you don't need. That way you get a chance to see what you have and you don't mess them up. You don't get them confused good for us to all see what's in these bags right so when you get it you know what what needs to be there this thing is heavy let me tell you this is not cheap the quality amazing it's worth every penny okay every dollar every cent all right now, let's get over there and start installing. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this piece off. We're gonna remove this bracket, all right? So the size I'm using here, I'm using a 5 16 socket. Oh man, that thing is on tight. There we go. Ooh, that was, a, that was some work right there. That thing was in nice and tight, which is good. that piece out right here and don't forget to use the Loctite again when you're putting this back in all right I couldn't find the Allen key that that fits this part so just use my my um, plier along with a wrench and that will do the job all right this is a number 11 socket let's see if that fits it yep that fits it that would get me to do this faster Now we talking. Perfect. All right, we got that out. All right, so we good. Next bolt we're gonna remove is this one. This one, we don't keep, okay? So let's take this off. It's a 5 16 bolt. Let's get some leverage. That's gonna be the fun part. All right, that's out of here. All right, so this piece is gonna go just like that, in that spot right here. Now when you do that slot, you wanna make sure that you have um, 
the space. It, well, you could only fit it on one side anyway, because this is going to need to, ad to adjust in there. Now, we're going to use this, but we're going to put a little bit of Loctite blue. Don't use the red. <laughs> just a little bit, the first few threads, and just rub it through like that. You don't need to use a whole lot, okay? Not a lot. Yeah, make sure that this is in that space, because I just realized that that's, that piece needs to be right in that space, because it gets a little hard to put it back in. So we're going to use that nut that was provided by the company that came along with, with this. So the lock nut and the regular washer is going to go right here in this spot right here. Now we're gonna take that same nut that we took from, 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 from this area and we're gonna attach that right back through here. Should line up. It's not lining up, but that's okay. That means I'm gonna to have to loosen that, loosen up that, this, this, this nut a bit, just to give it some play before tighten it back down. So it's good to know all these little things in case it happened to you as well. No big deal. Just want to give it a little bit of play. And then I could always tighten it back later. All right. Nothing ever works the way you want it to work. When you want it to work. But that's the point of doing these things yourself though. You learn as you go. You know, you can't get frustrated. Because if you get frustrated, then you're not having fun, you know what I mean? You gotta have fun. Whenever you're working, it has to be fun. All right, there it is. Put that nut back there. And then now I can tighten this back down. You see what I'm saying? It's just a matter of using a little bit of brain and then work from there. All right, yep. All right, perfect. All right, there we go. All right, that's it. All right, so this part now, we're gonna connect this little grooves, this little grooves piece right through here. And then you're gonna use your 516 socket. Well, not, not the socket, where did I put it? Yeah, here it is, 516 Allen key. You're gonna just tighten it up, but just don't don't over tighten it though. Just tighten it enough. The part that I forgot to show you, I just took it back off. You have to look for this groove. There's a little groove here. I don't know if you could see it. It's like right here. It goes in this little groove here. So it goes right inside, and that's where it fits. And then when you screw this in, it will help to lock it in place. All right. So just to show you that, in case you get confused, as I did on which side is what. Oh yeah. Road Glide, baby. Road Glide Chronicles. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave those comments. We all in this together, man. We all learning. All right, so this piece, right? What I'm looking for, I wanna make sure that this piece is facing up. So I put this in, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna naturally fit in the little grooves. Just like this. And then I take this screw, push it through, and start tightening it up. Now remember, I'm not making it all tight, like ridiculously tight, because I want to be able to find the adjustments that feel good for me, right? Here goes a tricky piece from this install, and that's that damn D spring. This thing right here. It's tricky, you know, but you pretty much put it just like that. And then you could use a screwdriver, whatever, um, to, to make sure that you're getting this in equally. Get, getting the, the peg in evenly so that everything lines up. That's tricky. But once you get it, you are good to go. 
So once you get that D-ring aligned up, it goes in perfectly, you know? Just a matter of playing around with it a little bit. There we go. Bam, all right, and then I could go back here and I could tighten this down a bit, but not too much yet, because remember, we still have to figure out how we want to adjust it to ride. And remember, this adjusts in many different ways. It adjusts from here and it adjusts from here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off from locking it into place about like right here. There we go. And then I'll work my way. I'm just gonna play it by just, just a guesstimation of what might feel right to me just from the visual. I might wanna have it more like on an angle like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. The install is not hard at all. Here it is. And that's it. That's it. That's how, that's how you install it. Same thing on the other side. Get it done. All right, there we go, family. That's the install of the floorboard style highway pegs. I prefer to have those than the ones that goes on the crash bars, on the engine guards. I don't like the ones in the engine guard. Number one, when I'm riding, I have to get my legs all the way up to the top. I feel like I'm giving birth. I don't want that. This one is more subtle. It's a, it's a very easy transition from the floorboard to that extended part. I'm gonna take a ride right now, see how I feel, and then make some slight adjustments. I think I got it pretty much where I want it because I'm tall, right? But it's a great, great, great addition to the bike. Subscribe to the channel, leave your comments. Yeah, this is my first time installing that stuff. I made a couple of errors. It took me a little time to get it done, but you know what? Once I did one side, I got everything together. I was able to get the other side pretty simple, pretty easy. It's one, two bolts on the bottom, then the bolt that connects to the to the floorboard. You remove that, then you replace everything else, and then you make the adjustment. Man, it's just, it's not that difficult, all right? So let's go, I'm gonna take that ride. Got my road glide right there waiting for me. It's like, yo dad, let's go. Why you, are you, you talking all, all that time? All right, subscribe to the channel. Let's get after it, leave your comments, let me know. What are you doing to your bike? And have you done these? Let's get it. Next thing I'm gonna do is change the floorboards though. I'm gonna change the floorboards to um the bad dad floorboard, which I like that style, but I might find something different, but who knows, it's gonna be all black to match the color of the um, highway pegs that I just got. All right, I'm out. Peace.